In this video, we will see about string functions in SQL. String functions are basically functions that we apply on string input values and the functions will return either a string value or a numerical value. So these functions are basically called as string functions. In this video, we will see almost 10 string functions that we come across in our day-to-day -day data analytics activity. And whenever we have to write some complex queries or dealing with some data engineering activity, we come across this type of string functions. So we'll start with concat function. And before that, we'll be using the table supplier in order to see all the functions. So let me query the table first and let us see the schema. Then we will start with the function supplier. So this is the table that we are going to use. And this has multiple columns. And in our activity, we are not going to use all the columns. We are going to use only contact name, postal code, city, and country from the supplier table. So instead of taking all the columns from the table, we are only going to take the required columns. So let me comment out the first part and we will use this query as a subquery and all the string functions we will write on this subquery. Start from this table and we will give an alias name. So we'll only have the required columns which are contact name, postal code, city and country. And the first function that we are going to see is concat function and before that we want all the columns which are present in the subquery in the output as well and we'll start with the concat function and for the concat we are going to concat city and country column basically what a concat function does is concat returns a string resulting from the concatenation or joining of two or more string values and the syntax for concat is like concat we open the parenthesis then followed by string values that is it can be either uh, two string values it can be either three string values or more than three string values depending upon our use case we can add the number of string values so here this is the function we opened the parenthesis then this is the first string value that is the column city and the second column that we are going to take is the country column now it is completed and let us give a name function concat now if we run the query we will get a new column that is fn underscore concat but we can see that the city and country columns are concatenated without any space in between them now it is difficult for the user to identify which is the city and which is the country so we will put a hyphen in between city and country so after this comma we will put a hyphen followed by the country name that is now we have three arguments the first one is city the second argument is the hyphen and third argument is the country name now if we run the query we'll get the city and country concatenated in such a way that it has a hyphen in between them that is now it is easy for us to identify the concatenated value and if we want to add more number of columns we can put a comma and add more number of columns here like uh, for example if i want to add postal code i have to simply enter the column name then if i run the query it will get concatenate so this is it moving on to the second function second function is concat underscore ws that is concat with a separator concat underscore ws concat with a separator so what this function does is this act exactly like the previous concat function but there is a difference that is we have the option to give a separator as an argument so the syntax is like concat w concat underscore ws opening the parenthesis then inside the parenthesis the first argument will be the separator name that is whichever special character we are going to use to separate the different string values we can use as the first argument here we are going to use hyphen as the separator that is the first argument then we only we have to give the string values as the input that is the first string value is city and the second string value is country now let us give one name to the column as well that is concat underscore ws now if we run the query we will get the exact same output which we get for the previous one but the benefit of concat underscore ws is that even if we are going to add n number of string values we don't have to individually add the separator in between each of the column values 
the only thing is we only have to add the separator once and even if i add the postal code here what will happen is the function will put a separator in between the country and postal code let us run the query and let us see that see now we have a separator in between city and country as well as country and postal code this is the benefit of concat with separator function next function that we are going to see is the left function left it returns the left part of a character string with the specified number of characters that is we have the option to specify the number of characters inside the parenthesis and also the character expression or the string value so here inside the left function we have two arguments the first argument is the column which we are going to use and the second argument is going to be the number of characters that we want to return from that particular string function so here i am going to use postal code column and i want to return the first three characters from the postal code that is the leftmost three characters from the postal code column now if i run the query we can see that only the first three characters will be returned from the postal code column. Let us run the query. And this is the column that is returned for left function, fn underscore left. And if we compare it with the postal code column, we can see that, see, ec1, only three characters are returned. The first three characters are returned. That is ec1, 701, 481, etc. Next function is write function. This is very similar to the previous function. The argument is exactly the same like expression value and the expression integer value which is the string value that is the string column and the second one is the number of characters that we want to return. So only difference is that here the left function returns the characters from the left side that is the beginning of the string but the right function returns the value from the end of the string that is the rightmost part of the string. So we'll do the same thing on the postal function, po sorry, postal code column with the same arguments that is postal code as well as we are going to return three characters from the postal code and I'm going to give a name that is fn underscore right. Now if we run the query, we'll get an output which will return the last three characters from the postal code string that is 4sd117140 etc class moving on to the next function we have pattern index function that is p-a-t-i-n-d-e-s function it returns the starting position of the first occurrence of a pattern in a specified expression that is pattern index function will return an integer it won't return a string instead it will re return an integer the return data type will be an integer and it specifies the position of the pattern so it has two arguments the first argument is the pattern that we are asking the pattern index function to find and the second argument is the expression or the column for that we are going to apply the pattern index function on the postal code column postal code column and this is the string value so we can take this as the second argument and the first argument what we are going to do is we are going to give a pattern so the pattern can be very similar to what we use for our like function that is sql wildcard whatever we are using the same patterns we can use with the pattern function pat index function also here i'm going to find for each of the postal code that is at which position numbers are starting for that the pattern will be like so it can start with anything and whenever the value is between 0 or 1 I wanted to see the position of that pattern so this will return this pattern will return the position or the starting position of that number from the postal code column so we'll give a column name as fn underscore pat index we will get an integer column which we can compare with our postal code that is for the second postal code numbers are starting from the beginning first position itself so we have one and if i go to the eighth row which has m14 the first character is m which is an alphabet the second character is one which is a number so the output is two similarly we have the position of that particular pattern we are asking the pattern index to find 
next function is the replicate function so with the help of replicate function we are going to modify the postal code column to have eight characters so basically what a replicate function does is replicate repeats a string value a specified number of times so it has two arguments basically the first argument is the string expression or the string value that is going to be the string expression that we want to replicate and the second expression is going to be the integer that is how many times you want to replicate that particular string expression so here wherever the length of postal code string is less than 8 we are going to concat it with zeros that is at the beginning of the postal code we are going to do that so what happens is this 70117 will become 00070117 so the length of the postal code becomes 8 and the first one will be like we will add one zero at the beginning that is 0 ec1 and that is one space for st so the total length becomes 8 the string expression that we want to repeat is 0 and how many times we want to repeat the string function we have to calculate because for each row it is different so we are going to calculate with the help of the string function itself length is fixed for the postal code that we want in our output that is 8 whatever be the current length we should modify the postal code column to have 8 character length so 8 minus current length of the postal code that will add the number of required number of zeros to make the postal code column with 8 characters postal code and after this replicate function we have to concat the actual postal code column also now if i run the query we will get a new column with additional zeros on the postal code column that is now we can compare the result with the postal code column now in all the rows we have 8 8 as the length of the string moving on to the next function we have the reverse function r e b e r s c -E. and the reverse function returns the reverse order of a string value so it does not have many number of argument it only has a single argument which is the string expression itself or the single column itself and here we are what we are going to do is we are going to reverse the country name so i'm going to give the country name as the string expression as fn underscore reverse and this will reverse the country name so uk will become ku usa will become asu similarly the string value will get reversed see uk become ku usa become asu japan become napaj similarly the string will get reversed moving on to the next function we have substring substring has basically three arguments which are the first one is the expression itself that is the string expression or the string column second one is the starting position and the third one is the length starting positions mean from which position we have to take the substring that is the start and the final one is the length we are going to apply on the contact name column contact name column and we want to get three characters from the middle of the contact name so we can take the start of the string as four and we want to return three characters as fn underscore substring now if we run the query we will get only three characters from the middle of the contact name that is we will compare the result see the first name from the fourth position it is starting that is c is first h is second a is three and r is four from the fourth position that is r l o from the fourth position we want three characters that is r l and o similarly in shelly l l e that is fourth position we are having l followed by l and e that is three characters now we are going to see two very commonly used string function which is lower and upper lower will simply convert the values into lower case and 
upper will convert the values into upper case so we will simply convert the country column into lower case values that is country as fn underscore lower what will happen is it will convert the country column which is already upper case into lower case so it has converted the upper case countries into lower case country similarly if we use upper it will less the reverse and upper we will apply another column which does not have upper case characters which is contact name as fn underscore upper now this will return contact name which is upper case there are other string functions which we have been discussed in this video that we will see in another part thank you